This might be a bit unsettling. Inside the cuttlefish's body lies something substantial and hard. Carefully removing it reveals a large object within. What could this be? Today, we're diving into the anatomy of a cuttlefish. We visited the seafood market for a cuttlefish specimen, but only found these large, imported ones. It's quite sizable, isn't it? Join us as we explore the secrets of this giant cuttlefish. Cuttlefish belong to the cephalopods, sharing the group with octopuses and squids, characterized by their legs situated beneath their heads. Here, they have the body, the head, and the tentacles. Cuttlefish are distinctly categorized, presenting unique features compared to the common squid. A notable characteristic of cuttlefish is the presence of a substantial internal structure. Many mollusks develop hard shells for protection. While most cephalopods either have reduced shells or merely vestigial ones, Cuttlefish retain a significant internal shell. By making a small incision and extracting it, we uncover these enormous structures inside. These structures are known as cuttle bones, yet they are not actual bones, but rather the internal shell of the cuttlefish. Despite their appearance, cuttle bones are quite light, harboring gas to aid in buoyancy, thus allowing the cuttlefish to float effortlessly in the water. This unique adaptation provides essential buoyancy for the cuttlefish. Typically, the cuttlefish we're familiar with have fins limited to a specific body region. In contrast, this cuttlefish boasts fins that span its entire body. This fin arrangement enables them to glide gracefully through the water, using their fins for slow movements. For rapid swimming, they draw water into their body cavity and expel it through a siphon, propelling themselves forward. This is how it works. Fascinating mechanism, isn't it? Upon examining the limbs beneath the head, it's evident that cuttlefish possess eight shorter arms and two elongated ones called tentacles. Yet, when observing a cuttlefish in motion, these long tentacles are often retracted and not visible. This clever camouflage occurs because cuttlefish can conceal their lengthy tentacles inside their heads. Upon closer inspection, you can identify a specific opening for the tentacles. At the tentacles' tips, suckers are developed, enabling the cuttlefish to swiftly extend them to capture prey. Once the prey is ensnared by the tentacles, it is brought to the mouth, centrally located amidst the arms. Examining the mouth of a cuttlefish reveals that it resembles a bird's beak in shape, which they use to effectively devour their prey. Interesting, isn't it? Let's now delve into the dissection of the cuttlefish more thoroughly. Flip the cuttlefish over and cut through the thick body part. Upon opening, you'll find the internal organs encased within a membrane, as illustrated here. Removing the membrane reveals the interior as such. Located behind this area is the cuttlefish's most vital reproductive organ, appearing egg-like in form. Flanking this reproductive organ are the cuttlefish's gills. Situated atop the gills is the gill heart. Notably, cuttlefish are creatures with three hearts. This large, dark sac is the cuttlefish's ink sac. The ink produced within the sac is expelled through this outlet tube and propelled out along with water. Adjacent to the ink expulsion site is the cuttlefish's anal cavity. Food ingested by the cuttlefish travels through the digestive tract, exiting via the anus. Thus, both excrement and ink are ejected through the outlet tract. Regrettably, due to the specimen being frozen, the condition of the internal structures, particularly the brain and eyes, was not optimal for detailed observation. 
The eyes and brain of the cuttlefish are fascinating subjects in their own right, and I plan to explore the cuttlefish's head in a forthcoming video. This concludes our cuttlefish dissection. Slice the cuttlefish's body slightly. Carefully remove the tough skin. Chop it into bite-sized pieces. And boil it to perfection. Would you like to join me in a game? Will Sebastian indulge in the savory cuttlefish treat, or will he pass? I'll bet on him not eating it. If you are stumped by this question, please consider subscribing to our channel. Delving into the enigmas of science. This has been Fishy Science.